servicing a Toro basket roller. This roller is off of a Toro 3150 triplex. The shaft has already been removed. Typically, the inside part of the bearings will come out with the shaft, and now we'll remove the outside race of the bearings. Use the normal setup of the tamer. The left-hand bracket is positioned so that the face of this bracket is even with the end of the slot. Install two-inch tapered inserts in both brackets. On both brackets, the bottom legs are pointing to the right. Place the roller between the brackets and tighten them securely. This is the capture method. Use RT-152, the one and a quarter to one and a half collet. Note that if the bearing shield is still intact, it may keep the collet from going all the way in. You can either remove or just tap the collet right on past it. It's not going to provide much resistance. Place the lip of the collet behind the bearing. You can also put the rim inside the groove in the race, but in this case, it went behind the bearing. Now expand it, but leave it loose enough that you can align it and install the puller bridge and two long standoffs. Please note the Tamer now comes with a one-piece standoff. But in this instructional video, we're removing one standoff so you can have a better view. Tighten the bridge and insert the jacking screw. Screw it into the forcing screw until it bottoms out, then back it out one and a half turns. Tighten the jacking nut using a 15 millimeter wrench at the end of the jacking screw to prevent twisting. Continue tightening the jacking nut until the bearing is out. The special roller tamer tools used in this procedure are available from Turf Pride. Seal and bearing kits for all makes and models of rollers, as well as reel units, are also available from Turf Pride.